Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here to share with you my project for the design team for the Cutting Cafe this week. This week begins the new team's term and we have some new team members. Welcome new team members! And you need to head on over to the Cutting Cafe's blog later on Wednesday afternoon or Thursday and check out all the projects from our new team members as well as returning team members. This week, um, and before I go into this week, make sure that when you go over to the blog that you leave a comment because every week Regina picks a name from um, the comments that are made and that person wins three free files of their choice. Now, on to this week. This week we can choose any file that we wanted to use. And I have a friend who is a minister and he's been ill, so I decided to make a card for him. So I used the Blessed Word Shape card, which is available at the Cutting Cafe. And then the sentiments that I used to go with it came from the Year in My Thoughts printable stamp set. And I will have links to both of those below. But I used the Trendsetter Paper by Fancy Pants to um, make this card. And this card is pretty large. It is 11 inches long by four and a half inches tall. So the file was sized and um, I will have to make a special envelope for it. But I wanted him to have something that um, showed, not really showed, but represented that he is truly blessed. And so I cut it out of double-sided paper and the card fold is done with a sort of minty green and cream chevron. And then I used the red solid paper um, to cut out the topper, which says blessed. Then I used some of the sticker pad. And you probably cannot see that well, but I have two stars from the sticker pads. And then I have the circle letters that say you and R. And I know it's really hard to see with this particular camera. At least it looks like it's hard to see from what I'm looking at. But you and R and then bless. So you are blessed. And then the sentiment going this way says, heard you're feeling under the weather. Then I used a sticker with arrows here. And then in the cloud shape, which I cut out with my Fisker's Punch, it says, sending you a dose of get well wishes. And then here below says, hope you're back on top real soon. And then there's an arrow up and there is a little bitty punch that I had from a miniature punch that I got from Michael's a long time ago. But it's a little teddy bear because his name is Ted. And on the inside, the opposite side of that paper was a wood grain. So I left the inside that. I didn't do anything to it. And then I added some more sentiments that says, we are thinking of you. And then the next one says, hurry up and get well. So, and it said, I could feel better. And I crossed it off and I said, so we can feel better because it'll be for me and my husband. And then I put LOL with some of the letters from the sticker. And then I'll write a little note saying, just kidding, but not. We really feel better when you feel better. And so um, on the back, it is the chevron and then my information. So I wanted to keep it simple because I wanted to mail it. And it is a larger card. And I don't have much space for um, the envelope because I'll be using a... 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I'll score it on the sides, fold it up and then fold it up. So um, I wanted to keep it thin and flat for mailing and also he's a guy so I really didn't want to put a lot of embellishments or glitter on it but I thought it was a simple card and he'll get the humor because he's very funny and we just hope that he gets well soon. So that's my project for this week's Cutting Cafe team. And I look forward to another um, time with you next week when we will start our Valentine's gifts or projects, not gifts, but our Valentine's projects. But well, some of them may be gifts though. But anyway, 
Um, look forward to that. And thank you so much for watching. As always, you have a very blessed and happy day. Bye-bye.